Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Today I wanted to take the time to show you what is currently in my cart for the Sephora savings event that is coming up. I love this time of year to pick up a lot of stuff from Sephora because I do have a bunch of like little gifts and travel sizes and things of that sort. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm planning on picking up. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys are not familiar with what I am talking about, the Sephora savings event, it is just a sale, a biannual sale that Sephora does. They don't normally have sales on things. It's not like Ulta where there'll be specific sales on specific things. Like Sephora does have a sales section, but the savings event is when everything in the store is either 10, 15, or 20% off, just depending on what level you are for their VIB Beauty Insider or whatever the heck it's called, their like point system. The base level is 10%, VIB, which is the next level is 15, and then VIB Rouge is 20%. So it's just, I think it's like a week, I wanna say. I implore you to do a little bit more research on it, but it is a very big deal because Sephora doesn't normally have sales so people like to go all out for this and I'm one of those people all right so let's go ahead and get started the first thing in my cart is the makeup by Mario Mario's lip lift kit. Makeup by Mario is a brand that I have never tried out. I hear a lot of good things about his lip products. He is a makeup artist that created a makeup line, like a beauty line. He's very popular. I think he's Kim Kardashian's, right? Her makeup artist or something. I don't know. I don't really keep tabs on him, but I do hear a lot of good things about his lip products. Like I said, this is a very good time of the year for like Sephora gift sets that they put together. And this one is a like lipstick and a little lip pencil and it's $20 so I thought this is a great buy because I can just kind of dip my toes in the water of the Makeup by Mario brand and it's pretty inexpensive. His Ultra Suede lipsticks sell for $26 so even if this is a mini size I feel like it's a good deal and it's 20% off so what is that? $15, $16 for a lip pencil and a lipstick I feel like it's a good deal. The next thing that I have is also $20. It is the Liss Beauty Deluxe Higher Standard satin matte cream blush trio there are three blushes in this little gift set this again i feel like is a great steal you have three very different shades of a cream to powder blush let me read you what it says this limited edition blush kit is complete with three high pigment formulas that blend seamlessly onto the skin for a natural pop of color that complements all skin tones infused with clean skincare ingredients like avocado oil vitamin e and kaolin clay i think i said that right these buildable blush shades deliver wearable color without accentuating the skin's natural texture. Yes. From cool soft pink to coral peach and plum, this trio will become your go-to whether worn alone or mixed together. And that's what it is. It's a, um, I'll have like a picture up here, but you can see that it's like three very different shades of blush. And I love blush. That is one thing that I will continue to collect, like concealer. Concealer and blush are the two. I've always wanted to try these Liss blushes, but they've always been sold out. So I'm excited to pick this up. And $20, you can't, you can't beat that. <laughs> you really can't. Also, if you are someone who does makeup on other people, this would probably be a good purchase because in the pictures, it shows a variety of skin tones that the blush will show up on. So if you're doing makeup on other people, you want to consider all skin tones. I think this is a great, great purchase. Okay, number three is the Fenty Beauty Stun -a Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color in the shade Undefeated. Now this shade specifically is on sale for $17. That's one of the reasons I picked it up is because it's on sale. Number two is because I have a video planned for this lipstick, like I have it in my head. It's a very true purple lipstick, very deep, very gorgeous. And number three is because I know that I love these lipsticks. I have so many Fenty Stun -a Lip Paints. I know that they're good. I know they wear well. I know how they feel. And I want to add another one to my collection. I don't think any other color is on sale. I think it's just specifically the undefeated color, which is okay with me because I think I have every other one that's in here. So I'm fine with that. Next up is the One Size by Patrick Star Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio Palette. Again, another blush. The majority of the items in here are blushes <laughs> because I can't help myself. I see this one a lot, like on a lot of different people's channels, these like 3D cheek blush, whatever the heck it's called, 3D blush trio palettes. It's a cream blush, let me read it to you. A monochromatic blush trio in versatile textures for a blurring 3D blush effect. Set the tone your way by wearing each one alone or layering up. Yeah, so it's a cream, a powder, and then like a sheen 
which I probably will never use. <laughs> I could use it on other people, but I personally will probably never use that. I love the idea of having a set of a cream and a powder. I think you cannot go wrong with that. It's great for travel. It's great to bring with you anywhere. It's great for layering, like it said, or you can wear them each on their own. And I chose the shade Fat Ass. I can't believe it's called that. I mean, I can't believe it. Some of the names of these are so funny, but it's just a very, it, it's a lot like the Patrick Ta blush that I have. It's almost the same exact shade as that one. It's like a little bit of a wineish shade, but not too deep that it's gonna look weird on me. I was between this shade and the shade Very That, but Very That is one that I would normally go for, but I wanted to try something new, so I decided to go with that shade. The next product that I have is a primer. It is the Hourglass Mini Veil Mineral Primer. I I'm on the hunt for more primers. I really only use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I want to try some other things. You guys saw I picked up that Pure Canvas Laura Mercier Primer. I want to just start using more. I, I want to give you guys like options for different primers and what they're going to do for your skin. So I picked this one. I picked the mini size because I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money if I didn't end up liking it, but I do have high hopes for it. I used to use this a lot when I was younger, but I haven't used it in years. So I'm excited to try it out again. The description for this primer is an oil-free primer with a silky, airy texture that leaves a smooth canvas for makeup while reducing the look of redness, pores, and wrinkles. Sign me up. With a texture unlike any other, the Silky Primer extends the wear of makeup while also concealing redness, minimizing the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, and providing broad spectrum SPF 15 for a perfect complexion that lasts. So it has SPF in it, which is fantastic. It leaves a smooth, even surface that foundation effortlessly glides onto and stays put for all day makeup wear. This unique primer has an airy, silky, cloud-like texture and layers onto skin without added weight or a greasy feel afterwards. And that I know to be true. When I used it, I remember it it felt like nothing that I'd ever felt before. So I'm excited to try this out again. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a win. I have high hopes. The next makeup product that I have is another gift steal. You, I'm telling you, this time of year is perfect to shop the sale at Sephora because they have all of these gift sets, makeup gift sets, perfume gift sets, hair care gift sets, body gift sets. Like they have so many that with the sale that you're getting, it's it's just worth it. It would be silly not to pick up some gifts. You can get them for yourself or other people. It's just absolutely perfect for this time of year. <laughs> and that's how they get you. They know how to get you and that is exactly how. The last gift set that I picked up is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Soft Pinch Liquid 3-Piece Blush Set. These are just her liquid blushes that she has in that little bottle. There's three of them in here and they're three very different shades. One's like a poppy pink, one's like a nudish pink, and then one is a little bit deeper. $30, you can't really go wrong. It's like $10 a blush, which is unreal. The description for this gift set is airy and lightweight. This long-lasting liquid formula creates a pinch-perfect flush with a skin-like finish. The Dewy Trio includes two travel-size blushes and Happy and Truth, plus a full-size blush and Encourage. A full size. I mean, it would be silly for me to not pick this up since I am such a blush fiend. I've never tried any of the Rare Beauty blushes, like these specifically I've never tried. So that was another reason I wanted to pick them up. I hear so many good things just about Rare Beauty in general. And these to me are worth picking up and spending the money for because I'm getting so many different options. I don't, it doesn't matter to me the size that they are because I know I'm probably only gonna use a little bit and I'll probably not use it every single day because I have so many others in my collection. So the price, the size, everything, it just makes sense to pick up. All right, I have a few more things. The only perfume that I'm picking up is this one by Commodity. It's the Travel Size Gold Expressive Travel Spray. I don't know what the heck this smells like, but I saw what the notes are and they're like totally up my alley. I, for reference, my perfume of choice that I wear all the time is the YSL Black Opium Perfume. It's so good and it's perfect for me. I love a vanilla scent. The notes for this one are Molten Amber Vanilla Creamy Musk. Community Gold is a warm and gourmand scent that is loved by both men and women so it's unisex. This rich concoction of molten amber and Nubian musk is indulgent enough to bathe in. It is part of the white collection, which includes scents that are light, airy, and easy. I'm just into it. Like I said, I've never smelled those before in my life. <laughs> But everything in the description is making me think that it's going to be right up my alley. The reviews for it are so good. It's pretty inexpensive. I feel like travel size sprays are like $30. This one's $25. I'm going to try it out. I'm always open to broadening my perfume horizons. <laughs> the last set, 
like the last gift set that's in my cart is the Summer Fridays on Cloud 9 mini set. This includes my favorite daytime moisturizer, which is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Moisturizer, whatever the heck it's called. The Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. I use this every morning and it's the perfect morning moisturizer for my oily skin. I also wanted to pick this up because it has the jet lag mask in it that everyone talks about. I have very oily skin, but after doing like makeup for three days straight, my skin gets dehydrated and it gets dry. So that's part of the reason I wanted to pick this up. One, because it has my favorite moisturizer and it's like a great little bottle that if I go away, I'll be able to have it. Plus I need another one anyway. <laughs> but I also wanted to try out this jet lag mask to use after my skin is kind of run down from doing my makeup for like four days in a row. <laughs> so the last few products, I'm getting like three of these in my cart are the Sephora Collection Clean Eye Mask. I get mine in the cucumber like flavor color I don't know what the hell I call it. I get these again because I do my makeup for like four days in a row and the underneath of my eyes are so dry like right here they get like crusty and really really like they hurt they're so dry these are perfect for like the day after the recovery stage of my week when I'm done doing my makeup videos <laughs> these are perfect to wear I know that they're single use and I hate myself for that but they're $3.50, they're so, so good, and they work really well for me. I have a hard time finding products that work for me that are like this, like under eye masks, because my eyes are so sensitive. So if I know that something is gonna work, I'm going to use it to death. <laughs> like I said, these are $3.50, and Sephora brand specifically is having a sale where you buy two and then you get one for free. So I was like, why not? I'm gonna get three of these and I only have to pay for two. So that is everything that is in my cart for the Sephora savings event. I'm so excited. I'm not excited to spend money. I never am, <laughs> but I'm excited to have some new things in my collection to try out for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. Let me know if you are picking up something from the Sephora savings event, what you have your eye on, what is in your cart. I would love to know and pick it up. And I believe that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. I know that I did. And I will see you all in my next one.